All right, so we oh my god, they're all coming to kill me. Okay. All right, so this is definitely working guys. This is for sure definitely working What's going on you guys? It's your boy Joe. Welcome to another video guys in today's video guys I'm gonna be teaching you guys on how to make a zombie apocalypse server for minecraft. All right guys This is a mod pack. I absolutely love this mod pack. If you want to play with your friends Let me show you how guys let's hop into this video. All right guys So there's three links in the links. There's three links in the description. All right The first one you're gonna have to download minecraft 1.12.2. Okay That's gonna be the first link also, I do want to advise that you do need to also get yourself some uh, course, Curse Forge. If you guys don't have it, just search up on Google, right? Curse Forge, uh, download, and you should be able to download it. And then you should. What, the reason for this is because Curse Forge it allows you to get a bunch of mod packs. So you can see you can just browse the mod packs right here, and you can actually get any mod packs you want. And all you have to simply do is click install. And then you go to my mod packs and then here you go. So you have all your mod packs right here. Um, I'm going to be teaching you guys on how to make a zombie apocalypse server right here. If you guys want to know how to play with your friends, let me go ahead and show you guys how. So once you've downloaded Curse Forge and you download your zombie apocalypse, if you have, if you don't have already have it, what you're going to do next is we're going to do this together. So what you're going to do is you're going to go on the first link in the description. You're going to click on this Minecraft server jar. And then what's going to do is it's actually going to download this server.jar and let's keep that there. We're going to need that, okay? The next thing we're also going to need is Minecraft Forge. Now, since this uh, mod pack is for 1.12.2, make sure you're installing the versions for 1.12.2. The, uh, the links will provide you to the correct version. So once you're here, you're going to go ahead and download the recommended or the latest. I usually just download the latest to be completely honest. So I'm just going to click on installer. Make sure you click installer. It'll bring you here. You're going to wait five seconds. You're going to click skip and then it's going to download. So we don't need forge anymore uh, since we pretty much already have it. Uh, what we're going to go ahead and do is drag these two to our desktop. All right, guys. So as you can see, now we have the server file for 1.12.2. Now, if it doesn't say Minecraft 1.12.2, don't worry about it. Uh, it is a Minecraft 1.2. 1.12.2 version so now what we're going to have to do is drag this into our um actual uh, mods folder we need to drag our zombie oh yeah make sure you're making a zombie server or a mc server folder uh, so you can drag all these files in there so what we need to do is drag our, our server into our um zombie mc server right here so as you can see we have our server file.jar what i like to do is i'm just going to right click and i'm going to rename it i'm just going to name it to server now i do this because it's a lot easier to just run this server file you'll see in just a second next what we need to do is click on the third link in the description this link will bring you to the new minecraft.net all we need right here is this purple line all right so make sure you highlight all of this and you copy it and then we're going to make sure we go to our server. We're going to right click in it. We're going to click on new. We're going to go to text document. Don't need to name this. So just double click on it. And then now once our text document is open, what we can go ahead and do is click control V. So we can paste that command line, that purple line. We just copy and paste it and copy it in here. Now, the first thing that we are going to need to do here is you see these numbers right here. We are going to have to change these. So just don't delete the M or the X, just the number and then write 2048. Same with this one. You're going to come here and write 2048. Now, since now this right here, it's going to say this is basically saying, what do you want me to run? What file do you want me to run? So what we need to do is we want this file to run. So as you can see right now, it says Minecraft underscore server 1.17 point jar. What we need to do is get rid of the Minecraft underscore and then get rid of the point 17. And there we go. We just have server dot jar, which is the exact same thing as our file. So you got to make sure that this file, this right here is the exact same as this now if you say well why is there not a dot jar on the file well it's because it's a server jar um a server it's a jar dot file so it no matter what you have to put the dot jar here no matter if it says dot jar here or not you put dot jar all right so as long as this is the same as this you'll be completely fine so once we go ahead and click file save as and then right here we didn't click all files you can we're gonna have to name it to either start dot bat or what I prefer to do is run dot bat. All right. So either start dot bat or run dot bat. Click save. 
Now, one thing I do want to advise you guys is never try to open the server by double clicking the server. I do get this quite often where a lot of people say that when they double click on this, nothing happens. What I would recommend you do is you have a run bat file, all right? I would never recommend you just double click on this. It's just not as sufficient as having the run command, okay? So now we, that we have this done, we can get rid of this text document. Okay, so now we have our run and our server, and that's all we need. So what we're going to go ahead and do now is click double click on the run. And now, as you can see, it stopped. And that's, of course, if it opens and closes immediately, that's good. Because you need to come in the ULA, accept the ULA, change this from false to true, and then click save. And then now, if you run it again, it should run your server up, and you should get a bunch of commands. If this doesn't work, make sure, maybe try, if, if you're having a lot of issues in regards of, like, the server's not loading up, um, try reinstalling Java, um... There's a lot of things that could cause this. Maybe the run.bat isn't isn't uh, typed in well. So make sure you're typing everything correctly so that everything works fine. So as you can see now, it says done. We can go ahead and type in stop. Like so, then it'll completely stop the server. All right, so now we have pretty much the files that we really wanted. Next, what we need to do is double click on the forge. Okay, right here, a forge installer that we installed. Once we double click on this, what's going to happen is on the install server... Right here, you're going to click on install server. You're going to click on these three little dots right here, okay? So these three little dots right here, you're going to click on them. And then you're going to click wherever your server is, your server folder. So mine's on my desktop, and it's named Zombie Server MC. Click on it once, open. And then click OK. What that's going to do, as you can see now, it created this Forge 1.12 and this Minecraft Server 1.12.2, all right? So we're just going to let this finish up and then we'll be right back. All right. So as you guys can see now, we're successfully downloaded the Minecraft server and installed. Click OK. Now it's going to automatically shut down, which is what we want. And now we have the forge installed. Okay. So what we're going to have to do next now that this is installed, we're going to right click on the forge right here and we're going to go ahead and rename this. I'm just going to name it forge. Enter. That's it. That's all I want to name it. It's just I'm trying to make the names as simple as possible, guys. All right. Don't don't make it like this long. There's no point. Just make it as simple as you can. So it's easier to edit. So now that we have this done, we can go ahead and right click on the run edit. And now we don't want to run this server file anymore because we need to run the forge server now. OK, so we don't need this vanilla server anymore. So since I don't want to run this server, I have to come edit this run bat and I have to get rid of the server dot jar because i don't want to run this one anymore which one do i want to run the forge dot jar okay so forge dot jar make sure your one is forge and the one whatever you're trying to run in the files make sure that's what it says so if you're trying to run a forge file make sure it's forge okay if you're trying to run this server make sure it's minecraft underscore server 1.12.2 dot jar okay so now we're going to go ahead and click file save x that out now since we don't need the villain server and not to complicate things we're just going to go ahead and delete this server and there we go so now what we're going to do is double click on the run since we want to run this server so we can create mods folders let's go let's double click on run so as you can see now a bunch of new things are coming up as you can see now we have a mods folder getting installed we have a bunch of libraries everything so everything we needed in regards of a mod pack server we're getting it installed Anytime you want to run your Minecraft server, you need to make sure you're running the Forge server or else you won't be able to play the mod pack. Okay, so now we have the mods installed and we're good to go. All right, so the server's done. It's done. We can go ahead and click stop. What it's going to do is going to stop the server and there we go. Now, the one reason why I was telling you guys to install Curse Forge is because... If you didn't install the zombie apocalypse mod packs through curse forge uh, it would be very complicated if you just went directly from your client so meaning you would have to install all of these mods into your run into your um, into your uh, minecraft's folder in your client folders you would have to install forge to the client basically what we just did to the server you would have to do with your client so the reason why I'm telling you guys to get, to get this zombie to get Curse Forge is because it's really going to help you into getting rid of that step because you already have everything made when you when you install the mod pack. It's literally a client that already has everything you need. So there's no point of going to create your own client when you could just download the, the, the mod pack. All right. 
So if you want to play with your friends, make sure they download Curse Forge and that they install the Zombie Apocalypse mod pack. All right. So now that we have our server done, what we have to do is go into our Curse Forge here. Go into your Zombie Apocalypse mod pack. You see these three little dots right here? Click on that. Click open folder. What I like to do from here on is you guys can see up here, right? If we click on instances, you can see it'll bring us directly to all of our, our, our mod packs in our Curse Forge. So what I'm going to do is since we want this one, I'm going to right click it, copy. I'm going to paste it to my desktop. The reason we're doing that is because we want to get all of the files needed to install to our server so that we can run the server and play the zombies mod pack. So now that you have the zombies, you can close out that, 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 that folder, the instances. All we need now open is the server folder. And we need to open up the zombie apocalypse forge server or forge client that we just copied and pasted. So once these are both opened up, what you can go ahead and do immediately is highlight all of this. Copy. Paste it into your server right here. So you're going to replace all of the files in the destinations. It's going to replace everything, everything. Okay. And what I'm also going to do is and copy and paste the options files. Okay. Just in case I do this just to be safe. All right. So now we have pretty much everything installed um, from the, the, the zombie apocalypse mod pack. All right, guys. So all we did was highlight the main folders copied and paste them into our server and now if we go ahead and run the server you can see now it is loading all all of the mods everything the world everything that is needed to play this mod pack all right so once you double click this and if you guys want to know how to actually set a for port forward your server um i have a video on that okay so what you can do is click in the link in the description go watch that video and then you can either use log me and hamachi if it, that's the easier way in a sense or you could port forward it through your your router so if you guys want to see that video go check it out down in the description below i'll leave that there for you guys and then you guys can go have fun with that so our server is done now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead. We can close our server folder. I'm going to go ahead and hop into the game, guys, and I'll see you in the game. All right, guys. So we're currently in the game. Let's go ahead and see if this works. So we're going to go ahead and click on the multiplayer here. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add zero. As you guys know, if you guys watch my videos, if you just want to join your local server, just type in zero and then click done. As you guys can see, it's pinging the server. That's good. And it should completely work perfectly fine. It should have zero issues here. So it's just got to ping maybe just for a little second. All right. So as you guys can see, it did work. We are completely fine. 20 slots, full bars. You already know. Let's go ahead and join the server. Let's do it. There we go, guys. As you guys can see now, we are currently in the server. Everything's looking good. We have all the mods installed. Everything is installed. We're hearing lots of creepy, creepy things. So everything seems to be working perfectly fine. We got some sheep over there. Let's go. Let's go hit these sheeps real quick. All right. So we. Oh my God! They're all coming to kill me. Okay. All right. So this is definitely working, guys. This is for sure definitely working. Wow. There is literally a whole army of sheeps here. What the heck, dog? This is crazy. Whoa. Anyways, guys, that's how you go ahead and make a Minecraft zombie apocalypse server. If you guys really enjoyed the video, of course, make sure to give it a like, man. Come on, guys. We're literally about to hit 500 subscribers. Think of that for a second. I really, really appreciate all you guys' love and support, guys. Thank you guys so, so much for love and support. I really, really do appreciate it. And uh, thank you guys so much. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. I would really appreciate that. And thank you guys so much. Adios.